the Victorian School Garden Awards started in 1977, so it's the grandparent of school environmental programs. The initiative was very much one of Kevin Hines. Kevin Hines was Australia's first celebrity gardener. So for those of us that are old enough, we remember him and his So What program on television. He loved working with children and his good friend Paul Crow. Together, they approached the Department of Education to see whether or not they could instill this kind of curricular activity within the school program. All the children knew Kevin go into a country school and bus would go past, they'd all yell out, good day Kev. So it was, he was quite a unique person. He came to me and said, Paul, what about seeing we can develop a ward? And we called it the Victorian School Garden Awards. This year in the Royal Botanic Gardens will be 39 years, one more year for 40 years. And I've been with it right through to today. He was really passionate because uh, Kevin had a little, his daughter, his one and only child, died when she was about 13 of leukaemia. She was always very keen on his garden and she would come and help him in his garden and so he set up a wonderful little garden for her. And I think that was his impetus. He always had this little thinking in his head uh, back to his only daughter. We had to go all around Victoria to the winning school so it just took too long. Kevin came up with the idea of a helicopter. And the helicopter was wonderful because we could land in the school grounds. And that was great for schools, particularly country schools. It brought the local community to the school and the publicity was great for the schools. Well, it has changed. It's all done now online where the school themselves send in to the judging committee. It seemed to be the veggie patches that uh, were exciting, rather than the pretty flowers. The flowers have a subtle effect, but the growth from a seed to uh, uh, a vegetable, then the collection of it and the cooking of it, which many schools did. We often saw the end product and we often sat down and uh, had a meal using the vegetables they'd cooked. So it, it was a great feeling of pride. The program has an important environmental message and this is not lost on the young. Indeed, many of our hopes for what we want of the world in the future uh, are exemplified by the, the sheer curiosity and nature of the kids when they're out in the gardens themselves. For those that first get their love of gardening through their involvement at school, it's actually a possibility that they may continue this throughout their lives and join the horticultural industry as well. So it just works across a number of levels. It's a good way of getting adults and, and kids together. Students love working with their teachers and with their uh, parents who can participate and other community mentors. It's been a, a great collaborative exercise across the generations from that point of view, which goes back to Kevin's age and why he wanted to get involved and how he saw himself as a mentor to a whole generation of people that could get the sorts of value and love that he got out of gardening.